Hello guys, in this video we will learn about WP Force SSL plugin. Using this plugin, you can avoid all SSL related errors on your website. So you don't need to worry about mixed content error or any error. So let me just show you how we can use it. So we will use here the pro version of WP Force SSL. So first of all, you need to open that website wpforcessl.com and then click on buy now and you can buy their plan. They have three plans, personal lifetime, team lifetime and agency lifetime. That's the one thing that I really like it is lifetime. It means you don't need to pay yearly, monthly or anything. You can, you just need to pay only once $59 and you can use this plugin lifetime. So I'm going to use here that personal lifetime. So click on buy now and then we need to put email address and then we need to make payment. After completing the payment, we received the information about login. So after login, you will find that dashboard. So in the left side, you will see the download plugin. So we need to click on that download plugin. And now we need to open our website. So you can see that's my website here, growhp.com and that website is not secure. I'm facing some errors here. So what I will do, I will install my plugin on that website. So first of all, open that website panel and we need to upload that plugin into our website, WordPress website. So in the left side, you will find the plugin option and click on add new, upload plugin and we need to upload that plugin here and then click on install now. After installing the plugin, you will find all settings in the settings option and you will see here the WP Force SSL. You need to put license key to activate all features of this plugin. Open setting and status and you will see here all task 14 and remaining is 5. Okay. You can rescan this also. You can see the run test again. So we just need to click on that button to run our test again. So we need to complete all these tasks. So first of all, we don't have SSL. Okay. So click on that SSL certificate and we need to generate our SSL. So I already have generated. Here you can see the view certificate details and download certificate. You can click on start over to generate the SSL. So if you are facing some errors, you just need to click on that support option to get support. So we need to click on download certificate and let's go to the folder here and unzip that folder and he'll find the SSL. See that all this information. Now we need to install that certificate on our cPanel. So if you don't know how to do that, so you can contact your host provider. So I'm using your name chip hosting. So I'm going to use here the SSL option. You will find here. See that one SSL TLS, click on that. And in the right side, you will find the option of manage SSL sites. So click on that. Now you can see here the domain. So you need to select domain. Now we need to fill the information. You will find the certificate CRT, then private key, and then certificate authority bundle. So first of all, go to here folder and you'll find your CRT. So open that folder, open that file in the VS code, select VS code and open that. So you will get that code here, just control A, control C, go to here and just paste it like this. Now we need to paste private key also. So go to here and you will find the private key. Open this, open with the VS code. Now control A, control C and then just paste this key here. So this you don't need to supply the CA bundle. Okay. So just click on install certificate. SSL host is installed and click on OK. So open that website in incognito tab and you will find your growhp.com that one is secured now. So you can see your SSL certificate is valid. OK. And now let's run this status and let's run this again, test again. Cool. And WP URL not properly redirect from this one. OK. So what I will do here, go to the setting and you can enable all these options here from here and save it. And you'll find here only one task is remaining. Okay. So enable monitoring to get instant notification about your SSL. So to monitor your SSL, you need to go to the SSL certificate 
and you will find your real time SSL site monitoring. So you need to put your email address. So let's put the email address and then just save it. Now option saved. Now let's try status and let's run test again. See everything is passed. Cool. So that's the amazing thing using this plugin. You can resolve all your SSL related issues in a minute. So if you need any help related to this plugin, so just comment on the video. I'll try my best to solve your problem. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.